now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Pretty quiet conditions through the morning hours. I think we'll be only looking at a, maybe a 10% chance of a shower through about 9, 10 o'clock. As we head into the afternoon, the rain chances will go up to about 30%. That's mostly inland along the sea breeze front. Storms that build there like yesterday will drift off to the north and to the west. And it's possible a few of the storms could clip the coastline, but most of the rain will definitely be in inland areas. Scattered showers and a few thunderstorms out in Gulf waters will persist, but they're on the decay as we uh, progress to the next hour. Hour, and that as the sun rises, we'll start to develop a wind flow that won't be very conducive for thunderstorm activity out there. We'll watch quiet conditions right straight through the morning drive time. And then as we head into the afternoon, that's when things will start lighting up on radar. High pressure, still our dominant weather feature out in the Atlantic, providing us with that southeasterly wind flow. Sea breeze front builds in the afternoon, and the showers build along that sea breeze front and drift off to the north and to the west. It'll be a situation, a pattern that is very similar to yesterday. And in fact, tomorrow, it'll be very much the same with that easterly wind flow continuing. Uh, even fewer storms, though, I think as we head into the weekend, today's rain chance at about 30% is less than average. Some drier air kind of snuck into the picture. Uh, over the weekend, a little bit more drier air. In fact, a very significant slug of dry air continues to be forecast by models on Saturday particularly. That's probably our, our driest day of the weekend. And then the west wind, instead of this easterly flow, the opposite direction wind, the west wind, will build again next week on Tuesday, just like we had earlier in the week. Future cast shows those showers building in inland locations, drifting off to the north and to the west, a nice clean line along the sea breeze front, and then the storms dissipating as the sun sets and the sea breeze begins to collapse. Now, over the course of this weekend, we'll watch this drier air, indicated here by these cooler blue colors, begin to move into the picture. This is Moisture available to produce rainfall, particularly aloft in the drier air, will suppress our rain chance to about 20% of that over the course of Saturday. That's way low for this time of year. Tropical storm Ernesto still continues to churn way out in the far Atlantic, again posing no threat to the United States, likely to start degenerating and uh, falling apart as it heads up closer to uh, areas around Ireland by the time we get to Saturday that system in decay. Another system we continue to watch. It has not developed yet. It's just a cluster of clouds, but it will have marginal chances for development over the course of the days ahead. Really not a great chance. Only 10% over two days, 20% over five days. And as it drifts closer to the Caribbean, the chances for development are reduced as the winds become more hostile. We'll watch for um, a south-southeast wind today at about 10 knots, turning east in the afternoon at about 10 knots. Two foot seas like chop should be a nice day for boating, actually. 30% chance of rain today and tomorrow. That drier air I was showing you moves in on Saturday, reduces rain chances to about 20%. We'll have a 92, consequently, as the drier conditions mean a little bit more heat. And then as we head into next week, the moisture returns.